Hello from Southern Ontario, it's July 8th. So I want to share with you today Terry's story. Now Terry, this story's a year old, so I'm working from memory. Terry will be 48 this year, so she'll have been on the streets for seven years now. Terry's story begins when she was in her late 30s. Um, she had a divorce and said, in her own words, loosely paraphrasing, she had a bit of a breakdown. And Sorry, incoming call thing there. Um, and by, in a, again, in her own words, loosely, she said uh, for the next year and a half, approaching a year and a half, she checked herself in and out of the cuckoo's nest a few times where she was prescribed antidepressants. And I'm going to interrupt the story here and say at this point in time, check what your doctor or your pharmacist is, is prescribing you. These OPs, you know what I mean? That we have receptors that are triggered. They're in just about everything. T3s even, right? Anyways, back to Terry's story. She said, it uh, doesn't seem bitter about it. She said, well, I didn't really put too much concern into the finances as the husband and I sold off the house and whatnot. The two children were old enough. They were on their own. And uh, she says, I did have enough money, though, for, well, she get into the funny. Again, check your prescriptions. Now, she states, you know, she says, nobody's fault but my own. But she get into the funny heavy. And six months later, whatever money she did receive from the divvying of the divorce, whatever happened there was gone and she ended up on the streets so she'd been a um, you know an at home mom she had no skills really and um, so well you can't blame this one on the 20, 20 and 21 business anyways she's still this is seven years now. She's still addicted, but she does what many people in her position call maintenance. She does four points, two in the morning, two at night. What she does is she takes her, her well, I'll call it welfare, and she buys her entire month's supply with that cash and some jib on occasion to stay awake at night, although she doesn't have the problem with predation that the younger and prettier girls do so much. I know I hate to bring up that ugly subject, but it is part of the reality. Um, like most people, Terry won't tell me where she sleeps at night. Um, I guess this is understandable, so I don't know um, quite how she manages that, but she says, I'm a veteran and I don't, uh, I've got things figured out. So that's kind of the overall view of Terry's story. Oh, I was going to say, she has the funny hunch. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you can go back. Quite a while back, I made videos where I'd researched how that affects the spine, the dorsal part of the spine. And Terry has what she calls my tail, the growth they have in the dorsal part of their spine at the bottom there. Um, she's on a maintenance program she refers to it as and in the next video I'll describe a typical day for Terry